guys? Welcome to your daily dose of Joseph. I'm your host, Joseph JC Nintendo, back with Deadly Premonition. In the last episode, I got run around a stupid art museum full of frickin' trees, only to find out I can't pick up the painting, so that's really repulsive. And now I don't even know what to do. I really, really don't. Oh, that's the fun of a blind Let's Play, though, is not knowing what to do. Although it's rather annoying for the viewers because I'm going to be doing a lot of useless crap, I'm sure. So let's try going back downstairs. I feel like I missed something down here. If not, <laughs> well then, that sucks for me. Um, Alright, get out of this camera view, please. Please. Uh, okay. It, there we go. I feel like, is this openable? Is this breakable? Nope. Can't do crap to it. Uh, down here is the same thing as always. And nothing. Which means nothing going on. Let's try popping this thing open again, like for real. I can observe it. And I can attack it. But I cannot grab it. So what does this mean? I know that's, I think, the second clue in Olivia's letter? Or it's a clue in her letter, but then why can't, why is there nothing going on down here? Or am I supposed to, like, go straight across from it and break the frickin' wall down? Nope, doesn't work like that. Kinda assumed, but, you know, you gotta try everything. So, back upstairs, I guess. Uh, I don't want to. I just want to know what to do. Go through. There we go. Uh, problem is, I could just as easily look this up to make the Let's Play smoother, but this is my first time playing a game. I don't want to ruin it like that for myself. Plus, if I'm ever stuck on a game and I end up Googling it or something, then I always feel like a douche because then uh, it's so much easier to go back and Google it again because, uh, uh whatever. Let's just try this. That better Zach, not work. something is still missing. We need more clues. Good. I would have been so mad if it worked. <laughs> um, let's just try two five nine. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. All right, let's try the last four did last three digits of my phone number. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Zach, something is still nope, missing. Nope, didn't work. We need more clues. What a cocksucker. Um, I seriously have no idea where to go in here. You know, you know where I haven't been is upstairs. Let's try that. If we can even walk up the stairs, I'd be so mad if there were ropes in front. Of yeah, I haven't been over here either. I should go check this out. Uh, the heck was that? There's no windows. I would have said lightning, but I don't see any windows. Alright, uh, what is this? Okay, it's a saving point and a nothing. So it's just, okay, that door is unenterable. Good to know. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's try this. Alright, I just want to see if I can, like, knock this painting down or something, maybe. <laughs> No, then stop glowing! Wait, it is glowing, right? Yeah, it's got something going on. Observe it. Trees at twilight, a beautiful painting of six trees, blah, blah, blah. We've met, read that a million times. Okay, so I can go up the stairs. To be assumed, but... Just now, just like that, this place is more complicated. Are you serious? There's nothing up here. There's nothing up here. Screwed! Uh, should I go shoot the butterfly painting? No reason not to, except that it takes me forever to get back to... Alright, let's observe this thing. What's he got to say about this? Okay, yes, there you go. It's a tree, five meters tall. Pretty big for an object of art. Pointy branches, razor sharp leaves. Good taste on the creator's part, or creator's part. 
greeting us with a cool and sharp setup. Right, Zach? Alright, and in here there is nothing, and sorry, I know I'm I'm being very annoying right now. I just gotta be 100% sure about everything going on in here. Which means rechecking everything. Uh, check it out. Nope. Can I check this? Nope. Oh my god. If I go on another cycle of this place and I don't find it, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, why, Joseph? Why? Alright, let's see. A foggy forest, likely an actual view somewhere in this town. Is the purple fog intentional? Quite interesting. Yes, yes it is. Nothing there. Nothing there. Um, might as well check these too. Nope. No. no. Oh, hey, that's one of the... E hey! Sound like a Sims. Uh, that's one of the paintings. Yeah, that's the center tree that's like all the way over there. Wonder if that means anything. I doubt it. I really do. Uh, Alright. Can I open this? Crap! What a jerk! Uh, let's see. No, wrong button, Joseph. Nothing going on in here, it doesn't look like. Yeah, just zero action. Let's see. Can't even observe in there. There's n so little going on that I can't observe it. So let's see. Bam, nothing, nothing. I know this one's got something. This one's important to me for some reason. Autumn leaves, a beautiful painting depicting four trees and their reddish salt. Reddish something that started with an S. What is it? Reddish something splendor. Okay, yes. It's got splendor. Not Splenda, Splendor. And this is just right back out here. Dang it. Check that. There's n literally nothing going on. <laughs> Please, world, why are you so inconvenient for me? Alright. I know what's supposed to go there. What's supposed to go there is the butterflies. But I can't go pick up the butterflies. I can't leave now. Crap, I already broke that, I think. Let's make sure that I've been in here. Yeah, I was already in there. <sighs> wow. I really do not know what to do. Seven minutes of me running around doing nothing. Nothing at all. Something's gotta be. I'm definitely missing something. A, B, and C. That's not it. That's it. There it is. And. Alright, a tree at sunset. Red leaves. And dancing red butterflies. That's A, B, and C. Ah, uh, tree at sunset. That wouldn't make sense. I was about to say, maybe it's referring to this place having three floors, which would be the basement, level one, level two. But the second level has nothing going on in it. And you don't even have a letter to assign to those. I could say the middle is C. And even then, it's not like the keypad over there is ABC. What am I mi- Oh my god, I've got a key on me from something. What is it? I just remembered, I picked up a key. With this master key, you can drive all the patrol cars in. I know I picked up another key somewhere. It was with the thing that Olivia dropped. She had a key. I swear she had a key. Uh, nothing over here, right? Yep. Wow. Time to destroy everything I can. Whoa, God, it worked. It destroyed things. That's... I was not expecting that. I thought they'd be impervious like everything else. And suddenly I'm questioning how many things I've missed. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what's going on. If I can do anything... I know I can't do anything. Why am I even back here? Red butterfly fly... Alright, let's try shooting it. 
Yeah, you know, let's just break this steel pipe. It's about to break. Yeah, it totally broke. No, not switch to. Let's knife it. Or yeah, where? There's the knife. That does nothing. Still, all of it does nothing. Ultimately, destroy a painting. Ready? Can't attack it because it's too close. Dang it! Don't close on me. Oh, I see. What jerks. Alright, guys. Well, since we're ten minutes into the episode and I'm screwing up terribly, we're going to kick this into time lapse. I'll see you guys when I figure this out. Alright guys, looks like I'm sort of back. Maybe that depends on if I am... Cocksucker, why are you... My freaking Michael J. Foxing again. But I think I got it in my head. I think I got it. Let's see. Alright, cool. That's good to know. I wasn't paying attention to the actual picture as much as what they're saying. Is the, uh, like the first picture is just like, oh, tree at sunset and blah blah blah. And there's a... Uh, just uh there's a bunch of trees or six trees there and the second one is there are four red cherry blossoms why I think they're cherry blossoms and can't see her notes anymore and then the last one is a bunch of butterflies around a single tree so um I kinda threw that together in my head with the help of Zach so now we can finally progress uh, uh, hope you guys enjoy the extra long episode. Cutscene. Like I said, there's no point in you having this. I can put it to far better use. I'm taking it with me, okay? That's fine by me, then, as you wish. So there's no way you could have been at the scene of the crime. That's right. I was drinking at the bar with Nick until early morning. I'm sure if you ask him about it, he'll say the same. Very well. I'll be sure to do that. But one other thing. That argument with Carol just now. She's always like that. She thinks of me as an enemy. Is there any reason for that? Perhaps because someone she liked ended up with me in my bed? That would explain it, yes. If I may be so bold, who was the lucky man? Oh, I sleep with anyone I wish. Anyone I prefer to sleep with. I guess she had her eye on one of them, but I don't know who it was exactly. I could sleep with you, if you like. I'm flattered by your offer, but I don't think that would be appropriate. You're exactly the kind of woman that a man in my job should never get involved with. Isn't that a shame, darling? I'll be frank. Right now, you are not a suspect. But both Zack and I are certainly feeling shaky about it. If you want to remain in the clear, just watch yourself from now on. Oh. 
You don't know, do you? Artists and art lovers, we love a good thrill. Thank you for your help. I have nothing further to ask you at the moment. Goodbye. Well, that was uh, interesting. I don't like this chick. She's so sure of herself, it bothers me. Makes me real mad, actually. So, anyways, at least we're out of that now. That was kind of a lot of work just to get to that. But, gotta let it happen. Sugary donuts. This guy is seriously destroying himself with the food he puts in his mouth. Like he eats nothing but random crap he finds off the floor. I had a chat with Diane. She said she was at the bar drinking with Nick at the time of the murder. We need to confirm her story. Let's talk to Nick at the diner. Very well, Agent Morgan. I have to head back to the department and clear up some paperwork. Go with Emily to the A&G diner. Okay. I'll show you the way. The diner's open from 9 to 2100. Just as we suspected, Zach. Diane is the key to this case. I have a feeling she will lead us right to the criminal. I was about to say that's bothersome that he's up there, but it seems like it makes sense that he'd be there because of, um, well, he's a, uh, he's a farmer and he likes plants and trees and blah, 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 and most of her, all of her paintings are of wildlife, such as that, so, you know, it doesn't seem too weird. Emily, do you know a man named Forrest Kaysen? Kaysen? Yes, I, I know him. The, the sapling salesman, right? He always uses strange comparisons when he talks. I'd like to know more about him. What does he do when he comes to town? He's a salesman, so I guess he sells things. Maybe he comes on vacation. I, we haven't seen many tourists recently, but he comes pretty often. Is that all? Well, now that you mention it, he seems quite friendly with the Ingrams, with Isaac and Isaiah. Maybe you should ask them about Kaysen. Okay, I will. We'll do that later though. Let's get to this diner. It's open from... Yeah, we got more than enough time. As long as I know how to drive. Um, where the frick is the diner? Cheese and rice. I feel like this is the long way. It has to be. Alright, there's 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 some somewhere in here. No, that ain't it, is it? No, that's a junkyard. Let me zoom out more, please. Let me see the whole effing map. Um, I don't even know where I am anymore at this point. Um, that's not the diner. I know that. What am I doing? Harry's mansion. Oh, yep. Can't get there. I'm sure. Probably later in the game, maybe, but not for now. Just gotta follow the road, I'll eventually find my way back. Or, can close it and then open it again. For convenience. Let's see if I were to go out there and come around. It would be... Not terribly far. Doesn't look like... Okay, it's very, very far. And I'm gonna be in and out of the map the whole time. <clears throat> All right. Ah, surprised neither of these people want to talk about anything. Wait, no. Most of that time was spent inside the map. It's not like I've been in the car the whole time and the game was running and I was looking at the map, like you'll eventually be able to on the Wii U. Oh, uh, Wii U. Uh, that's so good. I just like, for instance, they had a picture of a new Monster Hunter game for the Wii U at one point where the person was playing and they just had a, uh, they're using the Wii Remote Nunchuck. And they had the uh, the Wii the Wii U gamepad sitting up on its charging stand, and it had the map on it and 
just like an items list, I think it was. It just looked awesome. But anyways, these people want to talk now, so let's let them. Emily, don't you find it a bit suffocating to be around George so much? Well, we aren't always together. And anyway, I've gotten used to him. Impressive. Women are very adaptable. No, it's not like that, actually. George is hard-headed, sure, but he's also a hard-working man. That's why the townsfolk trust him so much. The very epitome of the rural sheriff. That's right. He isn't some hotshot FBI agent. This place isn't like the city. Everyone knows everyone else. What about you and Anna? Were you two close? No, not close, really. I don't seem to have much in common with teenagers nowadays. All they talk about are boys, clothes, and accessories. I don't have much interest in any of those things. There is a gap between a teenager and being in your 20s. Everyone's different, that's all. Me and you, too. Zach, I'm not liking the way this conversation is heading. Let's concentrate on driving instead. Nice. Way to avoid it. Anyways, at least that killed some time for this tremendously long drive that this game puts you through. Oh, God. Camera's so jerky. It's always... Eh. Trying to... Okay, yes, so it should be good. What the... Suspects. I should follow them. This is weird. This is weird. I didn't know anything like this could happen. I want to follow them. Can I, like... Can I sound my siren? Can I stop them? Can I get out? Yes! Let's go check them out. This is going to be hilarious. I didn't know anything like this would happen. Is there something you want to check out? Yes, and they're right behind us now. Let me uh, check well, them out. Either way, it doesn't matter. I can see you won't be rushed. I'm going to go ahead, okay? Okay, that would be fine. All right, go the for it, homie. The open from 9 to 2100. Don't keep me waiting too long, okay? I won't. Crap, they're gone! You ruined it! Catch them. Catch them quick. Start the car! Oh, wrong view. There we go. They're, they're so far ahead of me. Go and stop it! Good. Get back here. Get over here. God, what is that? <laughs> I'm not being possessed. Don't worry. Alright. Can you go any faster? Come on! They're not stopping. Are you serious? Alright, let's just pull out in front of them like last time. And get out of the car. And they better still freaking be there. Like, for real? Unless it's like I can't talk to them Zach, while they're is there in the something car. here that you want to check out? We are supposed to meet Emily at the diner, but that's fine. Do whatever you have to. Alright, yeah, we can talk to them. Cool. Hey, York, did you know anything? Wait, don't do anything stupid, okay? Really? That's it. That's all you got for me. What about her? No! Whatever. Letting it happen. I should just go ahead and proceed into the diner. Let's dash to the diner, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Anyways, you gonna talk yet, York? You were talking about something before we got out, or you wanted to. I saw that. Where's your urges, man? You always have something to talk about. Wanna hear more about your movie fetish? It's kinda hilarious that this game actually uses real movies for that. Let's see, I think if I take left... Oh yeah, whichever way I go is perfectly fine, although it's probably better that I stay to the right, because then there's no road switching in between that. Oh my god, the car's running out of gas. That's terrible. I really don't like that. That's bothersome. I hope I can make it there. Zach, don't you think there are a lot of good-looking women in this town? It's like heaven compared to the town we grew up in. You remember Liz? Prom queen? Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be loyal to the name like that. But you know, she was like an actress from a B movie, wasn't she? Bleached blonde hair, too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I All guess. All right, I'm going to have to stop you there, um, York, because we're out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was really long, unnecessarily long, probably shorter than I think it was once 
when we cut out or well time lapse whatever happens to that portion of me running around for a year and a half I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time what's up guys welcome to your daily dose of Joseph I'm your host Joseph JC Mantendo I'm gonna jump right into this and get right into the diner Emily, were you waiting outside for me? Should I have gone inside and started the 20 questions? Well, that would have been fine with me. Shall we get something to eat then? Someone should teach you how to be more considerate. And now you want something to eat? <laughs> I thought we were going to question Nick. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Perfect. Emily, you eat something, too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. Mrs. Olivia Cormack, I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I'd thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. Here you go. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, ah, that is. Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Mr. Francis York Morgan Making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, you're right. I'll give it a try. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry's having. Nick and Diane. They hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. Ah, 
I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. <laughs> Even still, I just don't see you as a punk rocker. <laughs> and you laugh? Look at you. With no makeup on, dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch. Okay, back to work. Let's talk to Nick. I'm very curious about that sandwich. I want to try it myself. It seems a little crazy, but I think I'm going to have to do it sometime. Probably not till after I've beaten the game, though. And we know this guy's going to kick us out of the kitchen, so we might as well just talk to him here. What's up? Could you tell us what you were doing the night Anna was killed? I was at the bar with Diane. What did you two talk about, Nick? Uh, Rembrandt, I guess that's it. And Turner. Is that a problem? No, no problem. If you think Diane did it, you're wrong. Thanks, man. No, that's not it. Oh, so it's me you're after? Isn't it? You're wrong again. So much for the FBI, huh? What a douche. Kick him in his brown. That isn't the case either, Nick. I think there's something both of you are hiding. You can tell when people are hiding something by their reactions. Eye, tongue, and hand movements, sweat, dry lips, neck angles, and such. I'm working here. If you aren't ordering anything, get out. Dude, I tried your sandwich. I loved your sandwich. Or, well, York did. I'm speaking for York there. I haven't tried the sandwich yet. I'm going to have to, though. All right, report back to Emily, I guess. Nick and Diane's story match up. Isn't hard evidence, but it certainly supports her alibi. Yes, yes it does. Ah, uh, but the two of them could be in cahoots. I think we need to talk to Olivia again, Zach. Thank you. I swear, when he says Zach, it's just them addressing the player. It must be. There's something I'd like to confirm with you, Olivia, if that's okay. Yes. Well, so long as it doesn't take too long. First, what were you and Nick doing on the night of the murder? I was here in the diner. Nick said he was going to the bar for a couple of drinks. Does he go to the bar often? Leaving you to hold up the fort? Y yes. He says he enjoys the conversation with Diane. I thought they went drinking again together that night. Do the three of you ever go drinking together? Well, you see, I I'm really not into art. And your husband is well versed in the arts then, I take it. Oh, yes. Um, looking at art and talking about it is his way of relaxing. <laughs> People just aren't what they seem. Like a certain someone who was into punk rock ten years ago. You are absolutely right, Emily. But you can be an art lover and a liar at the same time. One more thing, Olivia. You just said that you aren't interested in art. That's right. And... So, how come I bumped into you at the art gallery? Didn't seem like Nick brought you there. You were there alone. I... Well... I like trees, is the thing. That's why I went there. Surely you'd be better off in the forest, rather than an art gallery, then. Uh... I think you went to the gallery not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? <gasps> you don't want to answer. Or perhaps this isn't the right place to ask. M meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up.
Well, I got the key to the backyard. They cool. Close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait? So we're making some progress. Olivia's gonna tell us something that I don't know what she's been hiding. I have no idea, but she's doing something with Diane that she doesn't want Nick knowing. Agent York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Okay, then I'm gonna make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Okay, sounds good. See you later then. Back about Olivia. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip cops. Hey, every time somebody says Nick and Diane, my mind always goes to Jack and Diane, that song. But, um, let's see, it closes at 2100, and it is 1144 right now. Let's see if it just lets me in and lets me skip to that time by walking into that little thing, maybe, if I'm lucky. Yes? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Crap, you cocksucker! Ooh, I wonder. Uh, only observe. I thought I was about to invade Nick's kitchen. It would have been hilarious. Exit! Yes! Good. I just didn't want to trigger another, oh, maybe we should wait and kill some time thing from him. Let's see what we got to do to kill time around here. I could always sleep, but I feel like it'll be more productive if I talk to some of the, um... The suspects. Who's this? Richard something. Dunt? No, Dunn. It's Dunt. Cuts off on this TV. Sorry about that. Richard Dunn. Um, he's the closest one, it looks like. Let's see. Could go straight up there. Yeah, he's the closest person, but it doesn't say suspect over him. So I assume I'll get nothing out of talking to him. Um, what about up here? Nah, that's way too far. That'll be way too much time killed. Screw it, looks like I'm going to sleep, but where am I going to sleep at? Um, where's the closest bed? That's the sheriff's department. That's a barn. Looks like it's going to be easier to get to the barn, though. Um, do I have a car? Yes, yes, that's right, it's over here. Uh, yes, there it is, good. Alright, somehow I teleport to the other side of the car, but <laughs> we'll accept that. It's a video game. What more do you want? Wish it was that convenient in real life. Or, dang it, there I go using that phrase again. I hate using that phrase. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. I totally think I'm going the wrong way. Uh, if I go up here, there's no barn. Cocksucker! Turn around and go to the left. Okay. Or, well, technically I'll be going to the right by the time I get turned around. You jerk! Then again, I was doing illegal things with my car, but, you know, screw them! So the barn should be right down here. I hope it's not too hard to get into. I think I cut through that barn earlier and crashed that indestructive tree. What do you want to talk about, Agent York? To recap, the movie was the fourth sequel of a series that started in 1978. That's right, Zach. It was Superman 4, Quest for Peace. Lex Luthor was back. It was played by Gene Hackman. That alone made it a must for all us fans. I don't remember much more about it, though. I'm sure there was more trivia about it. Still forget 4. Richard Donner directing 1 and 2. Now those two were great movies. Christopher Reed really shined as Superman. Actually, Zack, I've got a confession to make. I promise not to tell anyone because I'd be really embarrassed. I actually like the first two Superman movies more than the first two Star Wars movies. I think John Williams did a better job with the theme song for Superman. But whenever I try to hum it, it always turns into the Star Wars song somewhere along the way. <laughs> I know it's strange, Zack. I know. So, Zack, which Richard Donner film do you like the best? No need to hurry. Take some time to think it over. 
It's funny, because I have the same problem when I try and think of Superman 2 and it turns into the Star Wars theme for me, too. That's hilarious. Ah, oh, no, my mouth's doing that thing. That thing where it's like there's a little air bubble underneath your lip. It's like right up, uh, right above your two front teeth, and it's just in there. Yeah, uh, stupid conversation out of the way. Let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, let's see, it's 11.51... Three hours from now it'll be three, which I don't know what three is in military time. If I sleep sleep twelve hours, that'd take me to no. She wants to meet me out there at twenty one to between twenty one and twenty two. And I believe twenty two is ten o'clock, so let's think. Uh it's about to turn twelve, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, duh, 12 o'clock, so 10 hours to 10. Derp! Derp! Alright, so let's just jump ahead 9 hours. Hmm. You happy, bro? Oh my god, he's hungry. Why am I hearing a bell? If the world rusted over, I would have been so mad, just so mad, so mad. Speaking of rusting over, who else here saw the uh, Resident Evil? Resident Evil, I'm gonna hurt myself for that. The Silent Hill movie. Not gonna tell you how I felt, but uh, I saw it. Derp. But, um. Alright, really though, uh. Crap. Oh, I, okay, I don't know why I was so afraid of hitting that fence. What time did it jump to? Okay, just got to kill seven minutes in this game somehow. I don't know how to do that, but we're running on 16 minutes as it is. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna let him sit there and rot for uh, a few minutes and wait for the time to come off screen and then start up the next episode when it's time to, uh... Why is he over here? Should I go talk to him, maybe? Hmm... The frickin' camera's so broken. Alright, let me see what's going on over here, is he? Yeah, he's right there. I should talk to him. I'll talk to him at the start of the next episode. I will see you guys next time.